Hi, Nolan. The next book I want to read you is called Working Hard with the Busy Fire Truck. This is the one you wanted me to do next. So we'll read this one next, okay? And Papa's holding the camera for, for me. He's holding my phone for me. Okay. Firefighter Tom arrives at the fire station bright and early. Good morning, he calls to the other firefighters. Every day, the firefighters take turns doing different jobs. Today, it's Tom's turn to check the fire truck. First, he inspects the fire hoses. He turns on the headlights and he makes sure that the sirens are working. Then, he washes the truck and he fills the gas tank with fuel. Now, the fire truck is ready to go. The other firefighters clean the fire station. One polishes the fire pole, another tidies up the kitchen. All the firefighters work hard to keep their fire station neat and clean. Doesn't it look so nice and clean? They made their beds and everything. The fire chief gathers all the firefighters together. He gives each one a special fire truck assignment. Bob will be in charge of the water pumper controls and Tom will handle the nozzle at the top of the ladder. Now the firefighters are ready for any fire emergency. Sam is gonna drive the truck. Soon the warning chimes sound over the loudspeaker. Wee -o, wee -o, wee -o. Emergency, emergency, calls the dispatcher. Highway 17, north of town. The firefighters charge into action. They put on their boots and fireproof coats, then they grab their helmets and they run to the fire truck as fast as they can. Tom slides open the huge fire station door. He directs the fire truck out to the street. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. The speedy fire truck heads to the rescue. The fire truck drives up to a farm. Oh, there's smoke coming from the barn. But the firefighters are in time to stop the fire before it spreads. Then Tom sees a tiny little kitten trapped up on top of the barn roof. He knows just what to do. Up, up, up goes the long ladder. Then up climbs Tom to rescue the helpless kitten. The firefighters go back to the fire station. They put their equipment away very carefully and two of the firefighters make lunch. But before everyone can sit down, oh no, the chimes sound again. Wee -oo, wee -oo. Emergency, cries the dispatcher. There's a fire at 4th and Elm Street. All the firefighters rush from the table. And see how the guy's sliding down the fire pole? And within seconds, the fire truck is speeding through the city streets. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Cars and trucks pull over to let the fire truck go by. People stay out of the way too. There's the fire. A police car and an ambulance are already on the scene. Sam parks the fire truck carefully, trying not to take up too much space in front of the burning department store. Other emergency vehicles are on the way. Here comes a pumper truck. It's filled with extra water. Here's an aerial ladder truck. It helps rescue people from high windows. The fire chief jumps out of his pickup truck. He gives his crew a plan for fighting the fire. Some of the firefighters put on their masks and air tanks. They race into the building. A few carry fire extinguishers. Others carry axes and crowbars to help them get past the locked doors. Tom and Bob will fight the fire from outside the building. Tom raises the fire ladder until it reaches the top floor. Bob attaches a special tube to a fire hydrant. Now the water can flow easily to the nozzle at the top of the ladder. Then up climbs Tom. He aims the nozzle at the flames. Whoosh! The water puts out the fire. The fire chief checks the building inside and out. When he's sure that there's no more danger, he sends his team back to the fire station. Back at the firehouse, the firefighters hang up their gear. 
They're very tired and they're hungrier than ever. But Tom isn't ready to sit down for lunch. I wonder what he's going to do. Oh, today it's Tom's job to keep the fire truck clean. So he washes all the grimy dirt away. Soon the fire truck is shiny and spotless and ready for the next fire emergency.